This video has been created to help you kickstart or elevate your live streams with on-screen notifications for likes, shares, donations, etc. You'll learn how to create and manage engaging streams with relative ease, which will lead to higher viewer engagement, growth and retention, including the integration of alternative income streams. Some of the suitable businesses and live applications include fitness classes, cooking tutorials, musicians, comedians, gamers, bloggers, personalities, makeup artists, influencers, live podcasts, hairstylists, etc. Hey everyone, what's the crack? One of the most frequent questions that I get asked is, how do you make your streams look like this? How do you get stuff to pop up on the screen? How are you making a part-time living from your YouTube channel? Today, I'm gonna to share everything that I've learned over the last six months, compress it into a little video to hopefully get you kick-started, whether you're starting out from scratch or whether you already have a fan base and wanna kick it up to the next level. This video is for you, I'm Lawrence, welcome to the channel. So if you interact with people and you do that on a one-to-one -one basis or you talk to groups, this could be an ideal part of the business that you haven't explored yet. A lot of people are making a lot of money from live streaming. A lot of people teach people things, they show people things, entertainment, music, all that kind of stuff. This applies to things like gym instructors, personal trainers. Um, it could even apply to uh, mechanics, uh, anybody who wants to show anybody how to do things, especially on a larger scale, how-to videos, um, artists, musicians, comedians, um, singers. I mean, the list is endless. This video is going to help you achieve to not only get your message out to your subscribers or out to your uh, community, this is going to allow them to interact with you and get a great sense of satisfaction from actually giving you a little bit of money. It may seem a little bit alien, and it did to me at the start as well. When people engage with your content, it shows a certain amount of loyalty. That loyalty is something that they want to reward you with. And it's a very, very strange concept, but those people want to often, and they might get a spur of the moment, hey, I want to give you some money. Or you might have already gotten some messages in the past. How can I contribute to your channel? How can I help you out with this? And you might have said, oh, go buy a product or you could sign up to this course or whatever, but people are thinking smaller. When you meet somebody in a pub and you're having a great conversation with them, you've never met them before, you might buy them a drink to show a token of appreciation for the fact that they're entertaining you. They're really kind of uh, giving you a great experience. That's what happens on a live stream. A lot of children today get that. A lot of people are making money in their parents' house, in their bedroom, even without their parents knowing, because this is relatively simple to set up. I'm gonna go through all the setup steps with you. Before that, I'm gonna just let you know that you do have a couple of requirements for this whole system to work. The first thing you need is a PC or a Mac. You can do basic streaming from a phone, but this is beyond that. Uh, because you're overlaying things and putting it all together and streaming it out to people, you need a PC or a Mac. That's your first prerequisite. The second thing you need is a decent webcam. It may be built into a laptop or something like that, but you want a decent angle, kind of like what we're looking at right now. You may want to invest in some lighting. If your lighting isn't great, this is just a cheap 20 euro thing, LED light off uh, Amazon. I'll send the link below. So that's a super cheap light from Amazon. You can get a couple of those. You can get studio lighting. You can go wild. I've just got natural light on this side and a 20 euro light on that side um, and a decent camera. You don't need to invest in a massive camera, kind of like what I've done over time. I started out with a webcam uh, and a basic webcam will do. Depending on what you're doing, it will probably suffice. The next thing you need is a PayPal account. PayPal is one of the key parts of this whole system. I'll explain why in a little bit more detail later, but PayPal works very nicely with Streamlabs, the system that we're going to be using. And lastly, you need a Facebook account, a YouTube account, or whichever. So today we're gonna to be focusing on Facebook and how you can stream to Facebook. The setup for YouTube is relatively similar and the whole system kind of holds your hand as you go along anyway, so it's relatively simple to set up. One of the clever things that we're going to be doing is actually popping up messages on the screen, showing who your last donators are, who your latest subscribers are, stuff this like that. And I'm gonna show you how to organize those on your screen and how to compose your, scre your stream. I'm gonna be showing you how to get those widgets overlay them on your actual video output so that the user sees all that nice stuff going on and how to actually get people to interact with those and how to get a really nice polished stream at the end of it. 
So the first thing you're going to want to do is download Streamlabs. Go to streamlabs.com. First of all, don't worry about Prime. Don't worry about ever having to pay for this app. This is a free app. Uh, OBS stands for Open Broadcasting System. This is an open application and that's free to download. So click the big download button here and then we'll install the software. Once that's downloaded, you just want to uh, have a quick scan through this license agreement. There's nothing major in here anyway. Hit I agree, um, choose your destination and click install. And as soon as that finishes, make sure you've got Run Streamlabs OBS selected and just click finish. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log in. Once you click log in, it's going to ask you which platform you want to connect with. For the purposes of this video, we're clicking Facebook. Hook up your Facebook account. It'll probably say continue as. And then you should be logged in. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to add some sources. This is a preview of what's going to be streamed. So the first thing you want to do is add something like a video capture device. So when we add that source, we need to give it a name. So let's call it webcam one, add source. And then we can see here that it gives a preview of the webcam that's actually attached to my device right now. You don't need to worry about any of these too much, uh, but I will just click some of these settings. I'm not going to explain them right now, um, but those settings seem to be pretty okay. Um, and I'll just click done. So it, there we go, we've got a source. So don't worry about the actual quality of this for now, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is just purely an example. The next thing we want to do is we want to actually add another source called the alert box. This is the magic that has been popping up before um, and it shows all these little um, alert things. So let's add that alert box. In this alert box here, you can see likes, shares, stars, stuff like that. If you don't want likes to show up, you can turn them off here. Um, any donations, stuff like that, you can just turn it all off here. Um, because we're in Facebook land right now, let's not worry about donations and all that. Keep them all checked for now, because if one of them happens, something will happen on the stream. You can actually test them at this point as well. So you can click test a donation and it'll show here. Now you can set the delay before that actually pops up. Um, you can set even the way that they display when they uh, come on the screen. But for now, let's just trust that it all works and let's just click done. So we'll put that alert box over here somewhere, right? So we'll imagine that this is the way that the stream works. You've got this little button down here, test widgets. So let's say a like. If I click like, it says it pops up on the screen. Um, so right now we've actually already set up a good stream. Um, if I had something you know, that I was live streaming right now and I wanted people to interact with it, I could go live now. So this go live button here uh, is hooked up to your uh, go live settings. Let's have a quick look at those settings here. So you're streaming to Facebook. So your account is automatically linked to Facebook. So you don't actually have to add any stream keys or anything uh, complicated like that. It should just work. As for output, it depends on your broadband speed, but your bit rate uh, in general, if you want something like a 1080p stream, you want to be around uh, probably around 4000 um, bit rate. These encoder settings get a little bit complicated, but just leave them as they are for now. It shouldn't affect what we're doing for the purpose of what we're doing, because there won't be a massive load on the system. Don't worry about any of the other settings here. And as for the video settings, uh, it's at 1920 by 1080. That should be fine. I don't actually want to scale that. I want it to output at that 1920 by 1080. Um, and uh, that's about it. 30 frames per second will be plenty for anything that's not, you know, high intensity gaming. You might want to go for 60 frames per second. Uh, or if you're doing really, really fast stuff, maybe like axe throwing or something like that, you might want 60 frames per second. For, but for general, for cooking or for training videos, 30 frames per second is fine. Other than that, there's not much that you need to do. The last step, setting up your PayPal to accept donations, needs to be done through the website itself. You can't do it through the application, as far as I'm aware. A lot of the functionality that's within your Streamlabs OBS application, you can actually see here, like for instance, your alert box settings, stuff like that. We don't wanna worry about any of that right now. We wanna go down to settings, and we want to link our PayPal account. Once you have your PayPal account linked, you get this link here, 
which you can customize. I highly recommend customizing this, but when you do click this link, this is what you should be putting in the description of your videos or sending out to people. This allows people to put in their usernames and select a donation amount. And then if they donate higher, they can customize this and all that. And when they actually click submit, that's going to send to your stream and it's going to pop up on the stream. It really is that simple. That's all there is to it. Now you're ready to accept donations. Now all that's left to do is go down to the right hand side, down at the bottom of your screen, click go live and you're streaming to Facebook. Everything's set up. That's the end of the video. Okay, so there's loads more that you can do with this software. There are loads more types of widgets. I'm not going to get to cover all of those in this video. But what you can do is you can search Streamlabs OBS with whatever your query is, whether it's widgets for event lists or whether you want to improve your quality, search for gaming settings, stuff like that. There's a lot of content out there. I do want to let you know that I'm available to help you set up your stream. There is an hourly fee for that, but do get in contact. My email address is just popping across the bottom of the screen there and we can discuss a fee depending on your needs and all that kind of stuff. Some of the other options available are uh, videos that are specifically targeted to maybe already existing paying customers so it's protected content and another thing that you can do is you can actually get people to subscribe and give a small amount every month over time and over time that all adds up if, if you've got 20 people giving two euro a month or whatever you know that that all adds up over time and obviously the bigger your fan base the, the more people are likely to do that and you've different structures and all that kind of stuff it gets very tricky very fast but there are lots and lots of options out there. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. You guys should be set up now. You should be ready to go. I have one favor to ask from you guys. If any of you have used this and you're streaming or you're gonna do your first stream, please let me know. Please drop a comment below. Let me know when you're gonna be streaming. Let me know where you're gonna be streaming and I'll try and join in and I'll try and trigger all the on-screen animations and all that kind of stuff so that I can help you at least show your audience what's possible so that people can interact and people can really engage with your content. I may not be able to help everybody, but as you can see, the whole purpose of this is to help people in gaming, personal training, uh, chefs, wh whoever, to set up their system so that they can really engage with their customers and generate an extra income. This is effectively a separate business to what you already do. And for some people, this replaces the actual original business. So it's very, very important to always engage, engage with the users, be very conscious that they're there, uh, look straight down the lens and really kind of uh, have fun with it. I see a lot of streams at the moment where people have their, uh, their families and stuff. People absolutely love that and people want to be involved in that. And one of the ways that somebody who's sitting on their own at a computer can feel involved in something is if they hit like or hit subscribe and their name pops up on the screen and everybody sees it. If there are a thousand people watching, everybody sees their name. And uh, if they give a donation, especially a generous donation, people react to that. And it's a really, really fun social thing that a lot of people really, really enjoy. So this is the way that the world is going at the moment. Um, especially with the global situation at the moment. I really hope this helps people. I hope it makes some money for people. If anybody wants to join any of my streams at any stage do experiment with those like and I, I stream on a Tuesday night and a Thursday night at eight o'clock Irish time do experiment with those buttons and just see what happens so that's enough rambling for me anyway I, I really hope this works for you guys and uh, I can't wait to see the results I can't wait to see the reactions I hope that everything was simple enough for you if anything needs clarifying please do ask I'm, I'll gladly clarify it for you I've been Lawrence this is my YouTube channel uh, I don't expect you to subscribe unless you're into sim racing content uh, but it would support my channel if you do hit like and leave a comment below especially if you have a positive experience uh, if you have some constructive criticism please do give that as well because uh, I'm always looking for feedback and uh, that's about it for me I will chat to you all later